Hi, welcome back to Devotions from History. At age 17, young Robert Robinson was described as reckless and a hooligan. Matter of fact, he and some friends went out and got a fortune teller and got her drunk and then demanded that she tell their fortune for free. The old woman looked and pointed her finger at young Robert and said, You young man are going to live a long life. But the gypsy's prediction scared Robert because he knew if he continued on the path he was on, living a long life might not be that pleasant. So he decided that he would go down to a Methodist meeting that was taking place in his town. And on May 24th of 1752, Robert Robinson went to hear George Whitfield preach. Whitfield chose the text, You generation of vipers, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Something inside Robert must have warned him because he repented of his sins, reformed his ways, and he became a Methodist preacher himself. At the age of 23, he sat down and wrote a hymn, which we still sing today, 250 years later, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. One of the lines in that hymn describes what may have been something that Robert struggled with. In verse 3, he says, Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Late in life, it seems that Robert did leave the faith, and the story is told that he was riding in a stagecoach when a woman came on with a hymn book that she was reading. She turned to him and said, I am reading the most wonderful hymn that blesses me. Could I read it to you? And she began to read to him the words, Come thou fount of every blessing. Robert tried to dissuade her because he really didn't want to talk about it, but she could not be turned from the subject. And finally, she said, he said to her, Madam, I am the unhappy man who wrote those words many years ago, and I would give a thousand worlds to feel that way again. No, like Robert, we are all prone to wonder, prone to leave the God that we love. But the Bible tells us that the same God who saves us is also able to keep us. It wasn't by our good works and our abilities that we were saved, and it's not by our works and abilities that we are kept. All of it is because of God's amazing grace. Now that has become one of my favorite hymns as I've gotten older and seen in myself that ability and that, that proneness to wander from the things that I know I say I love. So if you know that hymn, pull it out today and sing it. Matter of fact, I'll even sing you the third verse now, just in case you've never heard it before. Oh, to grace, how great a debtor, daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness, like a fetter, bind my wandering heart to thee. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, Lord, take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. What a great prayer. Here's our heart, Lord. Take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. I'll see you tomorrow on Devotions from History.